Today, we're talking about business notices that the IRS sends to business taxpayers. Those are taxpayers with an E-I-N, okay? Uh, so today's question is from a commenter who says, for 2022, IRS only sent the CP-161 and then went straight to the CP-504B, skipping CP-501 and CP-503. Why is this? The answer is quite simple. The CP-501 and the CP-503 are only sent to individual taxpayers for business taxpayers once you get that cp 161 that's the equivalent of the cp 14 sent to individuals that's kind of the first notice you get after you file a tax return with a balance due the next notice in the business collection sequence is the cp 504b for individuals there's a cp 514 then there's a cp 501 then there's a cp 503 and then there's a cp 504 okay so um that's it. That's that's the reason why. But I'll, I'll tell you what, and here's an example one from one of our clients. Once you get the CP 504, this particular one's for payroll. Once you get that CP 504B, uh, you know, that's, pr Ooh, let me get rid of this. Ah, sorry. Once you get that CP 504B, right, that notice of intent to levy uh, or seize your property, that is your cue um, that the IRS is probably getting ready to get pretty serious about your case, they still have to give you your CDP rights before they can actually uh, take levy action. But the receipt of the um, the CP 504, just CP 504B for, for a business, just like the receipt of a, a CP 504 for an individual, uh, is your cue that hey, you gotta you gotta take care of this. Uh, the time um, when the IRS is gonna be looking to uh, draw blood from you to get its pound of flesh. Uh, basically to extract money from you one way or another is drawing nigh. You know, and the solution for, for business taxpayers is, is very similar to solutions uh, for individual taxpayers. Businesses can be placed in CNC currently non-collectible status. Businesses can uh, enter into installment agreements with the IRS, either full pay or, or partial payment installment agreements. Businesses can even submit and be approved for offers in compromise. You look at the, it's, it's really, it has to do with the financial analysis of the business, just like individual resolutions cases have to do with the financial analysis of uh, the individual. So uh, anonymous commenter, I hope I answered that question. It's a relatively straightforward answer. If you have any other questions about, uh, about this, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have an individual or a business tax problem, please reach out to us at Choice Tax Relief. Uh, you can call us 866-8000-TAX or uh, visit uh, choicetaxrelief.com. There should be a little button here you can click to go to our website, fill out the form, and uh, we will reach out to you. I also have some other uh, tax relief videos here on the left-hand side of your screen. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.